Okay, let's go ahead and calculate this expression here. And uh, in order to do this, you're going to need a calculator and a special formula. Now, if you are watching this video uh, and you're studying logarithms, that's excellent. That means you're in some sort of math class, uh, likely something like Algebra 2 or College Algebra, but maybe you're not in a math class, maybe just reviewing mathematics and you want to learn more about logarithms. So that's excellent. Uh, logarithms are extremely important in mathematics, but what we're trying to do here is we want to calculate uh, this expression. So this is log base 3, 12. Okay, so again, we're going to need... Uh, our calculators, and we're going to need a special formula. And uh, the objective here is to calculate this out and get some sort of specific uh, value. So we're going to do this here in uh, just one second. But if you think you know how to do this, I certainly encourage you to uh, pause the video and go ahead and work on it. But uh, we're going to get into this and we'll review some basic log concepts uh, in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out my math help program uh, if you're interested by following the link in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have all the main courses starting from pre-algebra. So I have pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2. I'm going to be launching uh, pre-calculus here shortly. But I also do a lot in the area of test uh, preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, uh, ACT, GMAT, uh, GRE, um, ALEX, ACCUPLACER, CLEP exam, ASVAB, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam like the Praxis test or a nursing school entrance exam like the TEAS. All those exams have a pretty significant amount of mathematics on them. And if you um, don't pass the math section, you're not gonna do well on the exam. So we don't want that to happen. If you need help uh, reviewing mathematics, just go to my site and check out my full course catalog. I should have what you're looking for. If I do not, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can uh, with whatever exam you're taking. I also uh, do a lot of work with independent learners like homeschoolers. I've been working with homeschoolers for uh, 15 plus years. So I have a great homeschool learning system. Uh, and then obviously I help those of you uh, that are struggling in your current math course, okay? Now, if you're serious about learning math or, or improving, and I kind of assume that you are if you're checking out this video, there's one thing that you have to do that I can't do for you, and that is this. You gotta take great math notes. So over decades of teaching mathematics, it's just apparent to me, it's like the golden rule of math, at least the, uh, you know, like a, a principle of the universe that those students who take fantastic math notes almost always do extremely well in mathematics. And the reverse is true, those students who uh, don't take notes, or maybe their notes look like this. It's a bunch of uh, kind of scribble scratch, and then they look at you know their notes and they're like, hmm, what did I write down? I remember doing this way back in the good old 1980s, and I think I was doing that and writing little notes to my friends, like, hey, what are we going to do this weekend? Uh, and maybe I was trying to impress the teacher by writing stuff on my paper, so they thought I was taking uh, notes. But listen, I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but the honest truth is, uh, many, many students fail to take great notes, okay, because they're completely distracted, they're doing other things, and are not paying attention to the teacher. Now, you know, that can happen, and uh, remaining focused is uh, difficult. So I'm not going to say it's easy, uh, but it's uh, necessary, okay? So you're going to have to find the kind of self-discipline uh, to stay focused and engaged, and there's no other um, better way to do this in a math class or any other class by just concentrating on taking notes. Look at your notes. It's going to be a pretty good reflection of your focus in your math class. Okay, so work on this and everything will get better, I assure you. Now, uh, in the meantime, you still need something to study from, so I offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so uh, let's get into this problem. Again, you're going to want, oops, my, my voice is breaking down here. Uh, so let's uh, talk about what we need. Well, we're going to need a calculator, okay? And uh, obviously, we're going to need this special formula. So let's uh, first do a quick review. Now, on our calculator, and you don't have to have a, a graphing calculator. You can have a, a scientific calculator, but you need to look for these two buttons right here. Okay, so if you don't have a calculator, maybe on your uh, cell phone, uh, look at your uh, 
calculator app, or um, you could probably even do a quick internet search for a scientific calculator, but you want to, uh, to kind of follow along and learn something from this video, you want to have access to uh, these functions. So let's just talk about what these buttons are uh, right here on our calculator. So this is the LOG button. This is uh, what we call the common logarithm. Okay, this is common logarithm. And then this guy right here, this is the LN. That's the natural logarithm. And you can see I have a number down here. I'll talk about this in a second. But uh, in a logarithm, we have LOG, okay? This little number down here, okay, for this uh, button is log base 10, okay? Uh, very specifically, this is log base 10. So if I want to find uh, log, uh, let's say, LOG 10 of 7, well, then I could just use this button. I would go LOG, my, hit my... Uh, uh, type in 7, hit my LOG button, boom, enter, however you want to put this into your calculator, but it would be something like this. Um, and this will calculate log base 10 of 7. Okay, now the answer will pop out, but this uh, button is specifically only log base 10. It's a called a common logarithm, right? It's not log base 5 or log base 3, okay? It's only log base 10. Mm, okay, so that's going to uh, be an issue if we want to calculate log base 7, okay, or log base 17. So we're going to talk about uh, this more in a second. Now let's talk about this button right here, the LN button. What is this? Well, this is uh, when we want to calculate things called log base E, okay? Now we don't write it this way, but we want to... Um, uh, calculate a logarithm that has this base E. Now E is a special number in mathematics, extremely important number actually, and it's, uh, I don't want to go into what E is, but this is the natural base E, and it's a decimal value, 2.718, it goes on and on and on. So this right here, this LN button, is really log base uh, 2.718, on and on and on. Okay, so if I wanted to find, again, you know, uh, log base E of 8, I would use the LN button. So we don't use this notation right here. We just say LN. Okay, so LN is the natural logarithm. But again, we have log, uh, let's go ahead and write this over here. We have a log base E function on our calculator, and we have a log base 10 function. So what happens when we want to find log base 5 or log uh, base uh, 9? You know, how do we do these problems, okay? Because there isn't a log base 5, um, you know, button on our calculator, okay? So that's where you're going to need to pay attention to the following. So we can definitely do these problems, uh, but we're going to have to take a uh, quick step with a formula, okay? And what is that formula? And by the way, if you don't have this in your notes and you're studying this, then, you, you know, you should put this in your notes. This is called the change of base formula. Okay, now let's uh, take, uh, take a look at what it says. It says log base A of X. That's just a number that we want to take a logarithm of. And we want to calculate it, but we can write it this way. Uh, let me go and erase this here for a second. Uh, so we have this X right here. We can write, um, we can find the LN of X, and we have that uh, button on our calculator. Whatever the number this, uh, whatever value this is in log base A, I can find the LN of A. Okay, so these, we have these functions. By the way, it could be uh, log x over log uh, a. You don't have to use the ln button, but you certainly can. You can get the same answer, okay? But the bottom line is that we can, um, we know we know how to calculate uh, values because we have an ln button, and this we also have a common log button, okay? Now, let's go ahead and actually see how this works. All right, so... Uh, back to our original problem, we have log base 3, okay, and we want to find log base 3 of 12. Again, we do not have a log base 3 button on our calculator, okay? But what we do have is access to this handy-dandy uh, formula, the change of base formula. You definitely need to know this, okay? So how does it work? It's actually super simple. So uh, this big number right here is going to become... Uh, the value in our numerator, and then the base down here is going to be in the denominator. And all we have to do is just find uh, log base 3 of 12, 
is the same thing as ln of 12 divided by ln of 3, and that's the uh, natural logarithm. We could use the common logarithm, we'll get the same final answer, but ln of 12 is going to be two point, approximately 2.4849, there's a bunch of other decimals behind that, but we're going to divide that by ln of 3, and that's 1.0986, and when we simplify this, we get approximately 2.262. And that is our answer. Okay, that's how we go from here to here. We need uh, this formula, okay? Now, again, imagine if you're, you know, in a math class and you don't, you know, the teacher was uh, teaching and was giving you this formula, uh, but you were distracted because uh, your best friend was talking to you and saying, hey, what are we going to do after school? You want to go to McDonald's? You want to do this, that, and other thing? Listen, uh, you know, uh, you got to be paying attention. There's so many little details uh, that you need, you know, formulas and, and, and the like, that if you're not paying attention, you're going to miss stuff, and then you're going to be stuck doing problems like this. But um, if, in fact, you knew this formula and you were able to calculate this, then I must give you a little happy face and an A plus for today. Yeah, let's throw in a 100%. Nice job. And let's man, maybe a little bit of a mohawk as well. Um, but good job. Okay. So, uh, but if you don't, uh, if you didn't know how to do this, you definitely want to write this formula down uh, in your notes. Okay. It's called the change of base formula. Uh, and of course, it goes along with other properties of logarithms that you need to know. Okay. So hopefully this video helped you out. And if that's the case, go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. Uh, I've been on YouTube for over 10 years. I already have 1,000 plus videos uh, from basic to advanced mathematics uh, organized. I try to keep things pretty organized on my playlist on my channel. But my best math help will be uh, in my math help program. Okay, so uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.